in my research on that area, um, globally Europe is leading the world in terms of gender equality, not more than the US, and I think we both have a lot to learn from the experience in Europe. And I think there is a global conversation that needs to happen about the paradigms and the structures and the lenses through which we're looking at women's issues, whether the formal, informal, and whether we're imposing formal structures on the way women are organizing themselves. We need to just remove the lens and look at what's happening on the ground and call it something else. And I think this needs a global conversation. So your comments on where you think the European experience is in terms of what America and Egypt can learn. Thanks. Um, well, this is not my field, so I'll be very brief. Even though the uh, praise of a neophyte is, is, is pretty much, is hardly worth anything, I, I would hardly forgive myself uh, if I did not express my great admiration for both time and argument and uh, my wish that we had ten times as much um, um, and of such a wonderful lecture. But um, you began with, um, uh, uh, your lecture with two images, both vivid, one poignant and one very much hopeful. I think emphasizing the two possible sorts of future that it lies with us to achieve either one of uh, liberty and understanding and equality or one of terror and uh, mutual or all sorts of hatred. Um, my question is that even though it is quite important of course to have uh, to, to concentrate upon the economic aspect, um, uh, wouldn't it be argued that it is um, of equal importance for the two peoples that the Egyptians and the Americans to have the sort of mutual cultural interaction that is based upon uh, serious acceptance rather than mere begrudging political or economic one, uh, so that we could have a climb uh, uh, Shakespeare, Austin, in Heisman, in Khaldun can speak to us the same glorious message that seems sometimes to be forgotten in these turbulent times that freedom and beauty um, are inseparable, that we, the young, might ask with the poet with a, after being liberated from such from these fetters who then dares hold emancipated thus his fellow shall continue bound um, I'm sorry for such a long question but I wonder this I have experienced it uh, as an individual from the AUC and I think wouldn't it be a most noble and glorious thing if this could be achieved upon a societal level Thank you for the question. And I 